I just bought myself a brand new carbon fiber kayak paddle. Now I'll admit it was a little bit pricey, but it is super lightweight. Was it worth the money? Stick around to find out. This is the Aquabound Stingray carbon fiber two-piece kayak paddle, and it cost me $229 Canadian. Now, I already own several perfectly usable kayak paddles, so why would I go out and buy myself a new set? Well, the main reason is length. You see, last year I bought my wife a new kayak, a sit-on-top kayak, which is a lot wider than the kayaks we normally paddle. And what we found out was, well, the blades that we already had they were just too short. They weren't working out. Every time you took a stroke, it seems the side of the blade would hit on the side of the boat. It just wasn't long enough to allow you to reach out, dig in, and get that momentum that you needed. The solution was to get a longer paddle. So the Aquabound Stingray Carbon Fiber Touring Model is what we chose. It is available in a variety of lengths in 10 centimeter increments, ranging from 210 centimeters up to 250 centimeters. We ended up choosing a 240 centimeter unit. And to help you decide what length is going to work best for you, there is this handy chart affixed to the blade with recommendations based on the width of the boat and the height of the paddler. The blades, made from ABX carbon reinforced nylon, are what they term mid-size, meaning they are ideal for flat, slow-moving water. The two-piece shaft is constructed of 100% carbon fiber. There are three angle options available when connecting the two halves. There is, of course, the neutral or zero degree position, as well as a 60 degree offset to the left and a 60 degree offset to the right. The paddle is also available as a four-piece unit. The advantage there, of course, is when you disassemble it, it's smaller, therefore it packs easier in a, in a backpack or a gear bag. The other thing you can do is, uh, this shaft is about a three centimeter diameter, but as a special order, you can get one that's even smaller. So if you have petite hands, or you just want something that's really, really small, that is available. I, I was really impressed though with the attention to detail on the shaft. You can't really tell, but if you look up closely here, there are all these tiny little ridges that run the whole length of the shaft. And that just means when you go to grip it, there's less chance of your hand slipping, especially when your hand's wet, you know, if it's greasy after applying sunblock. And the other thing that's not readily apparent, but kind of part way down on each side, the round shaft actually flattens down. It tapers a bit and becomes a bit oval. And that means it's a perfectly placed so that you can grab it on each side. Less chance it's going to spin around and it's just a lot more comfortable to hold when you're out there doing a lot of paddling. The other really big feature of this particular paddle is of course the weight. The whole thing weighs in at just 28.8 ounces or in metric terms that's only 815 grams. For me this featherweight design means I can paddle longer and further without tiring or fatigue and when I need to push it or if I'm fighting a headwind this paddle performs with speed and efficiency. So, is it worth the money? Well, I guess that's kind of a personal thing. I mean, when it comes to sports, any sport, good equipment is going to cost you good money. Now, I've used this for about a month, and I can truly say this is good equipment. To me, it's been worth the money.